I'm excited to come your way again. It's Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO. And guess what? We have a wonderful and awesome guest in the house today. Oh my God, you will love to see this guest. Modern Entertainment Beyond the applause of men We seek for something valuable And that is the soul of man yeah. And that is the soul of man Men and women So that forget Entertainment, beyond entertainment, stay glue, stay tuned with PVO. I'll be testing about an hour. Pray for me, okay? Yes. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Love you. Bless you, sister. I am Wusa Oluwamayawa Sewedo. I'm a music producer, I'm a drama minister, and I'm a filmmaker. As a music producer, I produce music. In fact, I, I do film score too. I produce sounds for movies. And I produce songs for people. And as a filmmaker, I make films. At least for now, I make short films. And I played the role of Jaffet in games. Getting the role Jaffet. Well, I'll say that it is purely God's favor and God's grace. Because I remember that um, I had just resumed mother-in-law location that day. And Daddy Pivio, who is the producer and the creator of the series games, was around that day. And he, he wanted to leave. And Brother Biolumiwa was the one driving him. He wanted to leave better that day he wanted to leave the company and he told me that i should come and open the gate for them to leave so i went there and i opened the gate so while he was going i discovered that he just stopped and then he signaled to me that i should come and then i went to meet him at the i went to meet him in the car and then he said do i know about games do i know about games and of course prior to that goodness adibola had come to my place and I actually saw him reading about reading the script for games, and I felt like, oh, that's good. And all. he told me about it, and I said, that that's very awesome. So I, I didn't think that I was going to be part of it. And then he asked me that day, that will I do, do I know about games, and will I be able to come for the location? Then Brother Biolumiwa said, he doesn't have a choice. If he's going, I I would have to come too. So I decided that all right, yes sir, I would come. And then after we finished mother-in-law, I left and we, we went for games location. And when we got there, I was supposed to resume games location as one of the camera assistants as, um, for Bro Kunle Adepoju, who is the DOP. And when we got there that day, we prayed and everybody were very tired, so we went to rest. And then the second day, I was doing the work of the camera assistant. And I was called upon by Daddy Pivo. In fact, I was carrying his chair as the, di the director's chair. And I thought that he was signaling to me to bring the director's chair. And when I got there, he told me that there is a change in plan that I had to take the role, Jaffet, and all. He explained the, the, who the character was to me. He explained everything to me. And I was really shocked because I had not prepared to be part of the cast in games at all. So I got to know that very day. And then he gave me the script. I knelt down and then he, he prayed for me. I went to Brotobi Olimia to pray for me and then another brother too, and I met him too. And he, they, they all prayed for me and 
I knew that, okay, this is a big one for me. And I didn't even go there with my costume. So I had to go home the second day to, to that very day. I had to go home that very day to pack my costume. And we are here. Glory be to God. Uh, like I said, I was not in the original plan of the cast and crew for the game's location. I was not. Um, it was just divine favor and divine by divine orchestration that I actually got to be a part of it. And when Daddy P View actually told me that I was going to take it, I was really scared. After praying for me, I knew, okay, this is a big role for me to take. And I still had to be a crew member because I didn't want to lose the fact that Okay, I didn't want it to look like because I'm a crew member now, I'm sorry, because I'm a cast now, and then I will leave my primary assignment as a crew member. So I decided, okay, whenever I'm playing the role Jaffet, I am a cast. So anytime I am not playing the role Jaffet, I am with the cameraman that the Kunle Adepo Jim. So entering the role Jaffet was hard for me it was very hard because i couldn't have thought about who jaffet was so but then I, I learned one thing from one of my mentors he told me that anytime you want to enter character that you should pray in spirit so every time i was about to go on set i would pray in the spirit before we start rolling so i actually think that that's one of the things that actually helped me because i really didn't see myself playing the role well but one thing that I saw was since that the PVO was not complaining and is the director, I, I just settled in my mind that okay, probably I'm doing it well. But inside me I felt like okay, Holy Spirit just take over. And I'm sure that Holy Spirit did. But then the role Jaffet is actually a very relatable role to some of my friends and even a part of me too. So I understand a part of Jaffet. And from the story that I've heard from a couple of friends, I know that, okay, fine, things like this can actually happen. And this is how they react. This is how they do and all. So thinking about all those things actually helped to enter the role Jaffet. Of course, Sharon is my friend, a very good friend. Uh, Though most of the time we really don't have um, conversation off the screen like that. You understand? It's only when we see that we rap and she's a very good friend of mine. We vibe a lot. We really vibe a lot. So um, being on set with her, it was the second time that I was going on set with her. The first time was very hard. So this second time I had to take it all in and say, okay, you, are, you have to act with Sharon. And being the daughter of the director, I was being very careful not to overdo because I know myself that I can I can over trespass my boundary. So I was very careful not to overdo. And Sharon has she is a very, very beautiful actress and she's anointed, very, very anointed. And she took in the role and I don't know how the connection came between Sharon and I. And it was it was just awesome because I could see that she helped me to even enter my own character too, and it was just awesome. She wasn't too too hey, don't touch me too much, I know. So it was it was really beautiful acting with her. I I enjoyed every aspect of acting with Sharon. Yeah, I enjoyed it. That guy can sing. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Let me walk you down to your hall now. Oh, I stay off campus. My driver will come and pick me up soon. Your driver? Yeah. Y you have a driver? My dad won't have it any other way. He won't let me drive my car. <laughs> Your car? Mm -hmm. Says until I'm 18. You guys should be here soon. Let me call him. Wow. Um, Jaffet as a person, or Jaffet as a person, was the only child of his parent. His only ch the only child of his mother. And even the, one of the reasons I, I, I was really connected to the role is the fact that I'm actually the only child of my parents. So I understood things from the only child perspective. And 
being someone that his parents actually fight a lot to to make sure that they they send him to school and getting to school he lost focus I don't mean to pry but well i couldn't help overhearing some parts of your conversation was that your mom getting school fees is always an issue oh i'm so sorry about that <laughs> It's fine. Um, it's one of those things. So. Well, to... how much do you need, though? 35k. Oh, please, please. I can't, I can't take money from you. Come on, Jaffet. What are friends for? You've been there for me in times I needed help. You helped me with my registration the other day. You went out of your way and the other time you took me home. This is the least I can do. Oh, please. I still don't want to finish your pocket money. <laughs> are you kidding? You think just 35k will drain my account? <laughs> Can you drain from an ocean until it's dry? Just what I thought. What bank do you use? What bank do you use? U UBA. Type your account details. Hmm? Type your account details. Thank you so much. Jafet, don't mention it. I have a class now. I have to run. Okay. Even as a, as a fellowship person, as one who is a Christian, who claims to be a Christian, he lost focus even as a Christian just because of money. And it is a very great lesson that if our focus is Christ, let it be Christ. We shouldn't, we shouldn't try to focus on Christ and other things. It won't work. It will never work. So it is very important that we, we, we lay everything aside for Christ alone. Japhet was really lacking in this aspect and it was it was Japhet was like that um that tree that Jesus Christ saw and uh, that was that was blossoming and didn't have any fruit on it. It was deceiving everybody. It was it was it was it was showing that though he, 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 he looks like a Christian, he talks like a Christian, but he didn't have a deep root in Christ, which was very sad for him. And we all saw the end of Japhet and it is it is actually it is it is a great lesson for some of us who are youth that we leave what we should do to seek after things that are ephemeral he left what he should have done which is so and he went after money it is not possible to actually serve God and mammon it is not possible so he, 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 he didn't understand that part he went he went after money and left his main goal, which is the soul of miracle. If he had decided to help miracle to come out of it, probably his end would have been better. But of course, it's so sad that what happened to him happened.
killing Jephet or Jephet dying. Ah, uh, for me, uh, I would have loved that Jephet had probably he had been kidnapped. He probably he would have he might probably have lost many things, but killing him, I feel like it was too extreme. Number one, considering his parents or his mother, you understand. And I just I just feel like Jephet as a person, every, even even me, I was already connecting with the guy like. Faith, you are my guy, don't do this. You understand? And it's seeing him coming with miracle and everything. I feel like okay, probably something should have happened that he would just learn his lesson in the hard way and then come back to miracle. They will now build a better relationship and all, and they will have learned from their mistakes and and, and all. But it it is I don't know. I, I feel like the the writer should have Actually, just let Jeffet leave. Still love to see Jeffet and Miracle. I don't know how it will happen. I feel like I, I really love to see Jeffet and Miracle. They 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 are really presenting a very sweet and awesome relationship that everybody will want. The fact that okay, Miracle wants sex and Jeffet doesn't. You understand? He's trying to push Jeffet into having sex, which he obviously stands against but over time because of pressure he did it he, he will actually learn from it then with time he will get to know that okay these things are are right this is you know all these things i just feel like he should, he should <laughs> I, I want to see i want to see their relationship again i really want to see their relationship again see you can just tell me <sighs> see that's not what i'm talking about Mimi, you're perfect. And I mean it, you're perfect. But we shouldn't be having sex without being married. Did you hear what was said at the fellowship? This is how men receive love from women. See, if you don't want me, you can just say it. Okay? Come on, Mimi. Mimi. No sex before marriage. Papa, come off it. Come off it, my brother. Ah. What the hell's wrong with you? Eh? What's wrong with you? Eh? Let's say at the ESA, the guy they try to give you sugar. She they try to put sugar for your mouth and you try to spit and come out. Oh boy. Ah! Your laptop know they load. You know they. Ah! Are you guys sick? Now you they sick. If you know they sick, Papa, suppose no say you know they miss that kind of opportunity. See that? Papa, you're basira deal. You guys are. Very intrusive and very rude rat. We they get a life. We they have your matter sick. Yeah, but they are good day. Ah, ah. Please do. We have the guy. We will give at that level. Hey. One day. The thing is, I've, I've gotten a lot of reactions about Jeffet, 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 Jeffet. Je if I, I would, I would make a post and then the next thing is, Bro, Jeffet, how is Mimi? And I, and I would be like, please, <laughs> when I'm here, <laughs> I'm Olua Maiwa Sewedo Wusa. In the movie, I am Jeffet. But then it's always, it's, it's, I, it's something that I never thought was going to come to me. I, so I, I always appreciate the grace and the favor of God. I always appreciate the privilege of, of being in that light. And managing it has been very tough because most of the time I always try to mind my reaction so every time I, I I smile about it whenever you call me any whenever anybody calls me Jeffet I'll smile about it and we'll talk about Jeffet in the movie we'll talk about Jeffet in the movie and most of the time people are actually thinking that that is how I am somebody actually messaged me and said why do I feel like this is how you are because you entered the character where and I said I don't do people <laughs> I can't collect 100k from you. <laughs> do you understand? And then if I somebody said that, why do I feel like this is how my why is and all those things? And actually, Jeffet and me are different people. And I most of the time I just I just take it as it is. And whenever people make tweets about it, I make sure I retweet and I engage in it so that they will feel they will feel a, a sense of belonging to it that okay we are following this thing and even the the characters in the movie are re relating with us and all so especially on twitter i really really react 
to I respond well to it on Twitter. And Twitter is an awesome place to, to talk about it. It's an awesome place to, to do that. Phones. Uh, no, 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 no. You have done enough already, miracles. See, it's pride that makes African men think their women cannot support them financially. See, soon enough, you'll be making money and earning enough to take care of me, okay? So, let's just say I'm paying it forward. Ah, miracle. And I'll take care of you. I can't wait to take care of you. Okay, so how much do you need? Ah, uh, it's quite on the high side though. Have her followed and report every of her. Good. I told you I'll send it now. 100k. How much is 100k? You know, <laughs> what's today? Today is Wednesday. Okay. By Friday, I promise you, I'll send it. I'm a very honest person, I've told you. How much is 100 kid? I hand you like, okay. I will, I will, I promise you. Okay. All right. Jeffet, I understand that there are many Jeffets out there. So many people that have the form of godliness, but they lack the truth thereof. They, they present to people as though they are Christians, but they don't have the genuine salvation. And one of, the, one, of, one of the most important thing is that there is no one that is a Christian that his life will actually not show it. Everything that he does will actually project Christ. Hey, Japheth. Baby love, how are you doing? <laughs> I'll be a lot better if I see you. I'm actually quite easy right now. Please now. I want to buy you lunch. Wow. <laughs> you smart girl. <laughs> you know I can't say no to you. You're serious. Everything that a Christian does will always be Christ-like. And there are a lot of people that they actually project themselves as Christians and they are not. Every single thing that a Christian does will be like christ that was where we got the name christian from and the the important thing is a christian is one that is living a crucified life a life that is constantly yielded to christ a life that is dead to sin a life that honors god both in the spirit in the soul and in the body so it is very important that People and Jeffers all around should live their life if they want to be a Christian. Be a Christian. Let everybody know that this is what you stand for. If you don't want to be a Christian, let them know that you don't. In fact, one of the, one of the problems that Jeffers has is the fact that he didn't have a friend who is a guy that is accountable to. He didn't have a friend or someone that... That, that could come to him and say, hey guy, I don't like the kind of life that you are living. He didn't have anybody that was close to him. So it is very important that we do not neglect the assemblies of like-minded people if you want to grow. So the first thing that you need to know is to discover that, okay, this is the problem of it. I, I, I am a Christian. I really want to have a close walk with God, but I still find myself doing the things that I want to do. Number one, is make sure and then number, um, number one is identify that number two is make sure that you work with like-minded people people that will help you grow grow in a community of believers move with believers and then number three is god hates hypocrisy 
God hates hypocrisy. There are so many times in the Bible that Jesus Christ will say, Woe unto you Pharisees and Sadducees. Jesus hates it. God hates it. If you want to stand for something, stand for it. And it, you can't sit on the fence when it comes to Christ. When it comes to God, you can't sit on the fence. Because if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. And that was what happened to Japheth. He wasn't standing on something. He wasn't standing on anything. So he could, he could easily fall for sex. He could easily fall for anything. So whoever does not produce the fruit of a Christian, does not produce the fruit of the Spirit, that person is not a Christian. Whoever does not produce the, 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 the fruits of joy, the fruit of, of long-suffering, patience, self-control, you understand? That person should not be regarded as a Christian. I understand that there are so many times that people might actually fall. But one of the evidence of the fact that we have been in Christ is that whenever we fall, we rise again. We rise again. The Bible says that the, a, 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 a righteous man will actually fall seven times. But then he will rise again. It will rise again. So it's very important that we know that we can still rise even when we fall. We can still go back to our maker. We should not be like that tree that Jesus Christ told that will not grow again. That people will not eat of it again. And the, the tree, the fig tree dried up. Why? Because the fig tree was not actually producing fruit. But it was blossoming. It is a fake life. That it was showing, it was showing to people that okay, everybody believe that I am a fig tree and I, I I can I can I can bear fruit, but I don't have fruit. Jesus Christ was angry, he was very angry because he was hungry. So it is very important that we actually live our life genuinely as Christians. We live it as genuinely as Christians because we are light and we are the salt of this world. Thank you. This is awesome. Wonderful testimony, wonderful story that you have there. May God continue to bless our drama ministers. May God continue to bless our gospel movie makers in the name of Jesus. Please make sure that you keep upholding them in your prayers all the time because they do a lot. They go through a lot to serve us this meal that is called gospel movies always. Please keep them in your prayers. Thank you very much. Until I come your way again with another guest, another episode is Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO. Please, na bega de bego, make una subscribe to this YouTube channel now. Eh? Victor Luko Ju PVO is the name of the YouTube channel. Biko, I beg you, subscribe. It's, it won't cost you anything. Na bega de beg. And don't forget to click on that notification button so that whenever a new movie or a new show is dropping you'll be the first to know thank you very much and see you next time modern entertainment beyond the applause of men we seek for something valuable and that is the soul of man yeah. And that is the soul of man Man and we men So down for God And this is beyond and today Keep watching Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO.